Today is the day that I find out what is under this hideous carpet. I did my makeup, I did my hair. There's no reason for me to look frumpy while doing renovations. I haven't, okay. I think in the first video that I did, I said I've never ripped up a floor. That's a lie, I've ripped up one once and it's all coming back, I hate it. It looks a little uneven. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, under the stars. Oh my god. I definitely did not just punch myself in the face trying to roll my sleeve up. I wanted to do a little disclaimer. I did get a mask. I'm not too worried about my hair because tomorrow I have an appointment. It's getting bleached and it'll be clarified and everything. So whole series that I'm doing, not only like a cute little turn my house into a castle type of video, like it is that, but it's also to show that girls, we're capable of doing all of these things by ourselves and not needing to ask for help. Of course, it's okay to ask for help, but not depending on men. I didn't want, like, don't be stupid about it. That's kind of the whole point. Uh, that's why I'm doing this by myself. When you have a vision set in your mind, like you can make it a reality. That was my TED talk. I do have a mask on and I'm not being dumb about this whole renovation thing. all like this side over here this is supposed to just come up real easily i just got this like cake decorator and i'm literally just like separating it from the floor with this <laughs> if you could bake a cake you could build a house and i stand by that okay so i did lose daylight after only working though for like an hour an hour and a half i feel like i got a lot done i got all that ripped up I got all that ripped up, staples out. So I'm just gonna start taking this out. This is hands down the most tedious, annoying, irritating, fucking time consuming. <laughs> I hate, I hate doing this. Literally, if I had a man helping me with this shit, I'd be like, go over there and rip up staples. Okay. The floors are up. I'm in a big empty room. The echo is insane in this room and it looks so much bigger. So now I think I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint before I do the floors because it only makes sense. Here's my dilemma. If you can see, these will move. So if you can see that little area right there, there might be a beam or a post sticking up right there. So the floor is uneven a little bit. I want to lay down um, like a wood, like wood paneling floor, kind of like a very, very dark wood, but that can't really be there for it to work. Right now I'm about to go and find a ladder and I'm gonna run to the paint store because this hideous salmon color, this salmon pink color needs to not exist anymore. So I actually have to go into my shed that's like snowed in at the moment and dig out a ladder because up here, like the paint goes all the way up.
I still don't think I'll be able to reach up there with. This is... The walls up there are filled with holes and there is still like old paint, which means there's a harsh line where like the new paint went down. Sorry if I look crazy. But I'm about to go to Home Depot to get some sandpaper and some of that putty filler stuff to fill in the holes. And then we're gonna wash the walls, paint them, all that good stuff. And I also have to buy paint. The paint that I want is like $89 a can. And I need like five cans, but it's one coat. So I feel like it's worth it. Anyway, this is my Home Depot outfit. Not Home Depot looks, we don't support Home Depot. Hopefully it's quick and smooth. I'm gonna do a haul. Okay, so there's my wallet. But I got a paintbrush. I got a soft one because I refuse to use painter's tape. Do you mind? I refuse to use painter's tape. It's too time consuming. It's just wasteful. It's annoying. So I got like this soft brush so I can just kind of like whoop, whoop, whoop around the edges. And I think I'm a pretty good artist so I don't think it'll be too much of a mess. But some of the light switches are definitely going to be like landlord specials. I got some medium grit sandpaper. I got a little spackling thing. I was not going to get one of these. Let me tell you, I was about to use a butter knife or something, but I figured it just makes my life easier and it was $4. So I got that. And then I got the cutest little thing of spackle. Don't know, I didn't read up on it. Hopefully it works. Goes on pink, dries white. And I was like, perfect. So I don't know if you can see, let me put the brightness down. I don't know if you can see something like that. It's like sticking out kind of. So I take the back of this and I like make it a dent. So you see how it's pushed in and now it's a dent. I could just spackle right over that and it'll be easy. bubble gum I've never spackled before but like it can't be too hard right I want to eat this spackle for this wall this looks so good Okay guys, I just got back from Benjamin Moore and Lowe's. I got a paintbrush extension and I was fully about to buy three or four gallons of paint today. And then the guy was like, oh, do you want a sample? And I was like, a sample? Because the paint that I'm getting, I was gonna get the Aura, that's about $90 a gallon. I'm gonna need probably like four or five gallons. You know, everything else that's full coverage under that is like 50 something dollars. So I was like, why don't I just get a sample and see if I even like the color before I get all these colors made right so we're gonna go up and we're gonna swatch a sample and then I actually broke the doorknob today so we're gonna fix the doorknob while that dries and then tomorrow morning we're gonna see how the sample looks and then we're gonna go back and buy our gallon I just tested out that paint like on the wall over the blue and orange part and she is not about to work without a primer.
Hopefully this will be my last day for painting. I feel like I never wanna look at a can of paint again. I got the whole room primed and then I did, in the color that I'm doing the room, I did just like all of the corners and edges so that now all I have to do is go in with a like big roller brush and just like slap on the paint. I taught myself how to take some fans down and that's really it. I've had so many, I've been brainstorming so many different ways to do the floor up here and I finally decided that I'm gonna be a lazy piece of shit and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But for now, we're just painting today. Also, the hallway area is really scary to paint, so I'm gonna like, we're gonna get that on video just so that if I die, people will know how it happened. Originally, I wanted to do sconces, so like one, two, and then on the other side, three, four. Um, but that would require me to make holes in the walls and then turn off the power to the, the attic and like rewire things so that it goes to the outlets and, and to the switches and like, no, not the outlets, the fucking switches. I'm just not, I'm like, I'm really trying to do this whole project without getting electrocuted once. This pack in particular, I have to return because the edges of these got cut um, and like a lot of them, it's not just like one or two. This is the color of the wood. I like dark wood against a light wall. And that's what I'm going with. I have the whole set with the wall spacers and the mallet and everything. So I'm sweating really bad and I just don't want to be on camera. So like, you'll see it when it's done, I guess. Okay, so if you've made it this far, I ended up changing the color of the wood that I got. I did brown because black was just a little too modern. So I went and I ended up getting the brown one, which it worked out because the brown one's like slightly cheaper. And they also had it in store, so I didn't have to like order it and then wait two weeks. So we got the brown wood laid. And then on the platform today, I did this um, like side piece here and then I went and got this extra molding and just kind of, I put it on with wood glue. And I learned when I was more than halfway done that the Gorilla Glue wood glue that I got, you have to dampen the surface before gluing it, it stays better. So I'm here like with this, this electrical tape because I couldn't find painter's tape. Um, I like glued it on and it stayed. I'm about to take the tape off and stain it so that it matches the actual floors. But right now I'm gonna do this big side of the room. And I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but there's a lump right there. So I have this carpet, it's a white rug. It should be like 10 by 14 feet. So I'm gonna open this up right now and see how much space it takes up of this room. Because we're working smarter, not harder and I'm going to put this rug down and I'm only going to put this wood flooring around where the rug doesn't cover because one, I'm lazy, two, this wood is expensive, three, I just don't feel like doing the entire floor. Clean. I don't know what other color I would have gotten. 
Absolutely. Keeping it clean. I mean, you can only do so much. Yeah. Should I get my mom's, um, should I get my mom's opinion on it? Sure. Let's see how it looks when the floor is down, when I have like the dark floor. I had the genius idea to test out my stain on these wood pieces before putting it on the actual wood that I've already nailed onto the platform. In the store, it looked like it matched the wood that I had, but now I tested it out and it looks very black. Um, so I'm gonna, it says it dries in an hour. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and we'll see if it dries down to match this wood in the morning so it's a good thing because I was really about to just slap this on the platform um, but I decided to do a test strip so I'm gonna go to sleep for now and then I guess we'll resume this in the morning it turns out that the color that I got from the store I had an entire can of that same exact color in my basement and even though it was too dark I had like 900 other shades of brown already in my basement so i found one that works i'm gonna go to lowe's and i gotta find like a little molding for the bottom piece here because a lot of the platform is lifted off the ground all right so i got my siding for this platform and it's supposed to be like a crown molding but i've got it so that it's gonna go like up against there like that so the end back there is like thick and then it kind of like slopes down Okay, so the wood molding for the bottom of the platform still isn't on. Um, I came back up this morning and it dried down. It just, it did like, it took regularly to the stain, like how everything else did. But that wood at the bottom is like super porous and it absorbed it so much and it got so dark that when I held it up against it, it was like a strip of light and I kind of want it to all flow and blend together. So I just went in and I did a second coat of stain on the molding. This room is gonna be like a weird mix of like renaissance -y kind of like medieval vibes mixed with like French chateau, palace of Versailles, I don't even know, just gaudy um, and obnoxious. But yeah, we're getting the molding on tonight. And then I'll probably go antique shopping and try to figure out where the studs are and learn how to hang things. Mm, it'll look better in the daylight. So you know what I completely forgot existed? Is this railing and that railing going downstairs. Um, I was gonna paint them gold, but now I'm thinking I just want to dye them brown like everything else. Five out of six nails on the other railing are stripped. So I'm gonna have to like line the wall with something and paint it, stain it on the wall. Okay, okay. 
I am going to finally end this video because I, this video has been going on for far too long and I'm ready for it to be over. I have the floors and the walls and the little molding pieces done. Right here, I have my hand railing because it's not dry yet. And also I'm moving furniture up there and I just feel like, I feel like it'd be easier to get big things up here without that hand railing in the way. So I'm gonna put this hand railing back up um, once I have some furniture up here. And like I also painted these little things gold. Um, that hand railing I had to do on the wall, but enough about that. Let us look at the room. So we come up here, over there, oh my gosh, over there, I have an entire, like, um, an entire dresser um, that's that size that's gonna go right across there. So I didn't want to like put planks all the way back there. I'm just gonna like put it up, the legs of it should go on those back there and then this will all be covered. Obviously I have some extra in the closet so that if, if like some of this wood is showing, I can always just fill it in. Um, so yeah, don't look at that cheap little job I did there. Also, I am not in a rush at all to get, um, to put up these little light things or like the things for the outlets. I'm not in a hurry to do that because I wanna go antique shopping and I'm gonna find antiques and I'm gonna put those up like slowly as I find cute ones. So then we come here. I did that right there. Um, I might have to restain it because it is obviously not as dark as the wood behind it. But I just like little wooden details like that because I feel like it makes the house look like, like it is an old house. It's like a vintage-y house. So I just think that these little wooden accents, like hidden things that you really have to look to see, I think that they're so like unique. Even though I found that piece at like Home Depot, I just think that like you don't find, you don't find wooden architecture like you used to, I feel like. So it just makes the house look, I don't know, like luxurious and old and that's what I'm going. For. And then I just have the same molding over here. I do need to like um, paint in these pieces because I Gorilla glued this part on and the Gorilla glue is like white. So that was my little mistake, but it was just too late to turn back. So I'm gonna paint these little pieces um, dark. And then we have the rest of the room. So I have this fluffy carpet here. I'm gonna get an underlayment so that it's even more fluffy. And these carpets, um, it's, it's a little bit more shaggy than I thought it would be, but it's really pretty. And when I rolled it out, I sat for such a long time because my walls are a warm white and this carpet is kind of, I opened it up and it's kind of like a cream white. So it has a little bit more yellow and brown than my walls do. My walls definitely have yellow and brown in them, but the carpet has even more. So I was trying to figure out, I was like, does it drown out this white that I have on my walls? I know some people will see white and be like, that's white, but I'm telling you it's not, okay? So um, the carpet is a little bit darker than the walls. I kind of wanted it to all be the same color, but then that same night my mom came up here and she's like, no, this is perfect. Um, I just wanted to get this little walkthrough over with. I know there's not much to show, like I really just did the walls and the floors and it took me forever, but I like the little details. There will be more little details to come, but these are just the little tiny ones. Like I wanna take my time. I know a lot of people move into houses and they're in such a hurry to furnish it and to decorate it. And then it's like, it really takes time to go antique shopping and looking around and finding like these little perfect touches. So that's what I plan on doing. So for now, this is what I have done. I have my closet downstairs to do, which is gonna be the same vibe as this. Um, I can give you, oh, and the lighting. In the next video, you should see the lighting. And I have some dressers to bring up here and maybe a fireplace if I can lift it up the steps. I can give you a sneak peek to one of my lights. I have like glam looking chandeliers, but I did get one medieval looking chandelier for above the steps and this is it so i can insert the picture of it but this wood i think i'm gonna stain it to match the floor and the molding and it has these little the parts that hang them up are like this rope it really reminds me of the renaissance fair so i think that's gonna go right above the steps there and 
it'll lead into the room and make it like perfect. It is just about time for this little renovation vlog to be over. I have more exciting months coming up. Like this was really just like the basics, the floor and the walls and like the technical stuff. And now I can finally get into the fun stuff. And now the closet.